Sharper Point Commentary, presented by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. In the last Sharper Point Commentary of 2023, I talked about impaired driving, including a message that our station manager, Ryan Hatch, was delivering into the holidays. One year ago, over the holidays, a beloved co-worker and friend was tragically killed by a drunk driver. He was talking about Don Paw, who was one of the most kind, caring, decent people I worked with in my media career, killed in the week between Christmas and New Year's in 2022. A year later, things are better on the roads. Maybe it's because people were paying attention to Ryan's message. Maybe it was an accumulation of stories about the lives snuffed out by impaired drivers that made a difference. But instead of trying to find where to place the credit, I want to applaud the fact that there was a difference in the numbers this holiday season. The governor's Office of Highway Safety just announced that DUI arrests in Arizona decreased over the December holidays from their 2022 levels. Law enforcement agencies around the state made 1,550 DUI arrests in the final month of the year. That was down from 1,736 over the same period in 2022, a more than 10% drop. Extreme DUI arrests dropped almost 20%, and DUI drug arrests also declined, down by almost 18%. It's great to hear that fewer people were arrested for driving under the influence this past holiday. But I have to ask, is that because there was less enforcement on the roads? No, that doesn't appear to be the case because there were about 1,800 more DUI enforcement traffic stops made last month in Arizona than happened in December of 2022. I hope this remains a trend. And maybe because of the growing trend called dry January, it will be. But if you find that you can't complete a completely dry January and your drinking has been trending up for a while, you're not alone. And there's hope. I failed at every one of the dry Januaries I attempted, including one 13 years ago before finding sobriety. It was preceded by the definition of what constituted the holiday season, changing year by year and becoming longer and longer as my drinking increased. Because... Well, it was an excuse to drink in a celebratory fashion like everybody does during the holidays, right? The holidays used to start with Thanksgiving and end with New Year's, but eventually it was extended out to the Super Bowl and back to Labor Day. But by Super Bowl of 2011, I wasn't drinking anymore. And you know what? You can live like that too. If you find you cannot complete a dry January, find a meeting near you, show up, do those 12 steps and you probably have the same result I've had. And by the way, it's another dry January for me. And it doesn't really have to be a white knuckling way of living. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.